Hello, hello, beautiful people. I am going live two times. So I want to say hello first to my lovely YouTube fam, since you guys are going to be tuning in live from this way. But I'm also going to be going live on Instagram too. So I'm so glad that you guys are here. Thank you so much for joining me. I cannot wait to go over and talk about how we'll do a vajay show at home. Now, granted, I know I did a video about this earlier, but we all just still want to walk you through it. And if you want to learn how to wax your own bikini line, you can go to the video to watch how to wax your own bikini line. But at least we can go ahead and get started to show you how I like to do my vajay show. Honestly, it was a really, really short video, um, so I didn't really get a chance to talk about the products like I really, really wanted to. Hi, Kika. Hey, y'all. Thank y'all so much for joining. So I'm gonna be, if I'm looking at you guys and looking here, it's because I'm going live. Maybe I can just do it here. Can I make it that way? So then I can just be looking one way. Okay. <laughs> Perfect. So we're going to get started here in just a second. Make sure I'm nice and slid up. Mm, okay. All righty, y'all. Let's get it started. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Hello. I'm going to say hello to Instagram. Hi, Instagram. We are going live two times. It's been a while since we've done that. Uh, but tonight, I'm going to be showing you guys how to do your own vajayshow at home. Um, I just told the YouTube live fans, well, not fans, ooh, ew, I don't like that word, fam, that I um, went ahead and did a video talking about how to do your own vajay show. But if you want to know how to do your own bikini line, you can look at the video after. So let's go ahead and get started. So I personally, if you guys have ever seen, hey, y'all, hey, if, if you guys have ever seen any of my, oh, Brianna, hey, Brianna, hey, girl. Um, if you ever see any of my body care videos, I always start outside of the shower, right? So that means I like to use some type of form of physical exfoliant. Sometimes it's going to be a physical and chemical exfoliant. So we're going to use those both at the same time. So the first step that I talked about was, like I said, one of our brand new products. This is step one of the new Pretty Kitty Kit. This is the Bikini Buff. So Bikini Buff is kind of like a scrub, but it's not a sugar scrub. We don't use sugar. If you guys want to know why I don't use sugar, it's because sugar tends to harbor bacteria. And whenever you tend to use a sugar-based product that sits in the shower, especially one that you made yourself, um, <laughs> it tends to harbor bacteria from sitting in that moist, dark, damp environment. So that is why I made a pumice-based product because not only... Um, is it a little bit more gentler on the skin as far as no scraping, tearing, or micro tears like I talk about as well? Um, this um, gives a really nice itty-bitty grit, and it also has a little bit of dehydrated orange peel in here too. So it smells real nice. It has like the faintest, the faintest um, citrus smell from that dehydrated orange peel, but um, it's really gritty. You only need a little bit. And this would be for your bikini line. I wouldn't even use more than that. You have a ton in here. You have a ton. There should be no reason why you go through it. Who well, someone said nails? Thank you. These are 1002 nails. Um, I'm gonna drop the the at down there. 1002 nails. Um, so what we'll do is before you get in the shower, and don't mind me, I'm missing a couple because I've been real rough on my hands this week. <laughs> but we're just gonna rub this guy in and I promise you, it has this very creamy consistency, but it's still thick. It's not watery. I don't like it when a scrub is too watery or runny. I feel like, especially if you're using it like wet, like while you're actually in the shower, I feel like it'll run right off of you. So this guy right here has glycolic acid, tartaric acid. Um, what else is in here? Glycolic tartaric. There's going to be a little bit of vitamin C from that orange peel dehydration or dehydrated orange peel. And like I said, you're also getting that. That's, a, that's your chemical exfoliant. You're also going to get your physical exfoliant with this good old hummus. And there's also jojoba wax seeds. I didn't put any um, micro beads in here because they're bad for the turtles. They're bad for the environment. And if y'all saw Mahali Spa um, 
planted or contributed to planting 156 trees in the past few weeks. So, with that being said, we love the earth. We love the earth, Mother Earth. Um, but you can just kind of scrub this in. You can also kind of double it as a mask if you have a little bit of time to kind of just sit with it on your skin. Otherwise, just rinse it right off um, and it comes off really easy. So since I don't have a sink because I'm in my recording room, I'm just going to take a washcloth and I'm going to dampen it and then we'll wipe it right off. This is amazing for my girls who have those ingrowns that are right below the skin. Like you can see them, like you pick them out with tweezers. Like you can just see the hair that got trapped under that dead skin. Oh, I had a wave to all y'all. Hey, hello, hello. Um, but yes, this is really good for those people who have those little itty bitty ingrowns that are right trapped below. Someone says you can't see. Why can't you see? Oh, sorry. I was putting my arm down. I'm about to rinse it off. Um, really good for those. Now, the second step is even better for those girls who have ingrowns that are kind of like, like boils or they're kind of cystic. So we'll talk about that next. And if I'm just going to refresh the room really fast. If you guys just joined, I'm just demonstrating a at-home facial. So the next step that you'll do is you're going to go in with glycolic cleanser. Glycolic is amazing. I just told you we put the glycolic in the bikini buff. So this is really good as a cleanser for short contact as well. Um, if I didn't like reiterate it, I'm gonna talk about it really quickly. Glycolic acid is one of the smallest molecular structures um, that is within an AHA. It is the smallest AHA, I believe. And what's really great about glycolic is that it is amazing for discoloration. A lot of my hyperpigmentation clients or dark mark clients, we put them on a glycolic regimen where we have some type of glycolic incorporated in it. And it is amazing, y'all, it's so good. So why wouldn't you wanna use this on your bikini line? Also, these are all external products. Please do not use this internally. I'm begging you, don't use this inside yourself. Um, <laughs> but you just wanna do a nice little rub. Make sure everything is nice and, you know, frothy. I wouldn't take longer than like a minute on this, but if I would say the two most important, not the two most important, two of my favorite steps out of this whole routine is going to be the bikini buff and then going in with this glycolic cleanser. This one also has some tartaric in there as well and malic. Oh, it has alpha arbutin. So yeah, it's great for this coloration. So same thing. I'm just going to take my washcloth and we're just going to Rinse this off and get this guy off of here. Cool. Okay. Now, your next step. Um, at this point, because you're in the shower, you can go ahead and use like your hygienic cleanser that you like to use. Oh, hey, Christian. Um, you're behind your computer, so we can't see what you're Oh, oh, I, I got you. We're good here. We're good now. Um what was I saying? Oh, shit. <laughs> um, oh, you're in the shower. So if you want to use something like the honey pot, um, I use the honey pot sensitive foaming wash um, while I'm in the shower. So this would be the, a good time to use something like that next. Um, I'm not going to demonstrate it because my honey pot is a little, it's the consistency is a little off. I don't know why it's so watery. And I'm about to bring it in here and get my stuff all dirty. So We'll move on. So let's say you do the rest of your shower routine, right? And so then <laughs> you're going to get out and you're going to do the mask. Um, I prefer for you to get out while you do this mask because you want it to stay on for about 10 minutes. So this is the first, um, what is this called? Instant resurfacing mask. This is what went viral on TikTok a few weeks ago. And I am a verse partner. So what I will say is this, they did send me this to try for my face. I tried for my face and it, it, I mean, I didn't dislike it, um, but I preferred to use it on my body than, than my face. It just wasn't my favorite for my face. So what I noticed is that this had bromelain in it. Bromelain is a pineapple enzyme, really great for brightening. So I figured why not? Why wouldn't I use this on my body? Um, especially if it didn't necessarily agree with my face. So what I would do then, and we're not gonna sit up here for 10 minutes while we put it on. 
but it has this really like jelly consistency. Um, so it's <laughs> it kind of oh. <laughs> gonna pick that up and we're gonna put it on our hands <laughs> oh so you can see it's like oh gosh I'm oh, sorry you can see it's very jelly um I'm just gonna you take it off my desk I just washed my desk it's fine very jelly consistency is giving like do y'all remember that pink gel from the it's jam line um uh, it's like the shine gel, the pink shine gel from back in the day. And so this does not tingle, sting at all. Uh, <laughs> I did not mean to drop that. Uh, this is not a tingle or sting at all. This just does its thing. You let it sit on for about 10 minutes. Like I said, my favorite thing about this is the fact that it has bromelain in it. And one of my other favorite products that has bromelain in it is this guy right here which is the good molecules pineapple exfoliating powder really really good as well um for helping with brightening but i i mean i prefer this for my face i don't really use it on my bikini line so yes so what we would do is after that just sit here for 10 minutes and allow it to go ahead and dry down Oh my gosh, she said, like, someone said, hello, not the whole jar. Yeah, girl. It's okay, though. Like I said, my station sanitized. I'm going to just, uh, <laughs> I'm going to just, you know, I put it back in here. Ain't nobody else using it but me. It's mine. So, yeah. Wow. All right. Fine. I'm going to go ahead and rinse this part off, too. I can't believe I just did that, y'all. Like, I've never spilled a whole thing of nothing ever. Like, like, I've never done that. And it's not a whole thing. I've used it about four or five times. But it's because it doesn't take that much. A little goes a long way, especially for a little toto. It's a little, you know, it's your toto. But yeah, y'all, oh my gosh, I cannot believe I just dropped it. It's fine. It's fine. It's good. Okay, so the next thing I want to talk to you about is something else that was gifted to me, but it's really, really cool. So the next step, you're going to go in with the Daily Brightening Toner. Um, or daily brightening solution. Um, once again, did not like this for my face because it has witch hazel in it. And all my girlies using witch hazel, um, I would prefer you to stop for your face at least. Um, and if it's on my bikini line, I'm fine with that. Witch hazel is just a really like really dehydrating, and I'm just not not a big fan. Um, someone said, "How often should we be doing this?" This is a bajay show, so like this whole routine should only be done once a week however there are certain steps i'm going to tell you guys at the end that you can be doing about three times a week so okay um but they gave me this toner toner's cool brightening solution aha in here oh no excuse me not a yeah this aha in here um and then they gave me this bag of reusable um cotton rounds which are so cool because i personally go through a lot of cotton rounds for my business because we do a lot of waxing and you know of course that can definitely not be reused but um since these are mine and they're personal I can definitely reuse them so these are made out of like a cotton situation and when you're done you just toss them in the ooh, when you're done you just toss them in the dirty clothes and then you just wash it so <laughs> so I'm just gonna go ahead I'm just gonna pump it Okay, it's a mess in here now. All right, um, we're just gonna go ahead and use this. Just you know, do a couple swipes, and you're good. But this is so like up my alley for like my daily thing. I'm I'm a tree hugger. I'm hippy dippy as much as I possibly can be. Um, and so I just can't believe I have Um, so yeah, we even are trying our best to switch over to using reusable bags at the spa whenever people buy their retail, just because single use bags are bad for the environment. They're horrible, horrible. But once again, this is just a basic toning situation with this guy it has some glowy ingredients, good for balancing out the pigmentation, and the dark marks, right? Cool, cool, cool. Now, the last step is going to be the Bikini Glow Serum. This is part two of the Pretty Kitty Kit. 
Um, this is amazing. I just want to talk a little bit about this product. I have had clients who have had previous chemical burns from other service providing. Um, and I've actually used this on them and it has helped to calm it down. I had one person that I know where her skin continuously peeled and peeled and peeled. And we like, she couldn't get it under control from, it was a really severe chemical peel. I mean, from a really severe chemical burn. And so once we put this guy on her, like it stopped and like, she showed me pictures and it looked amazing. So side note, I've also experimented with this serum as well because um, I got this formula. This formula is made in a lab. Um, Y'all, I ain't in the kitchen whipping up nothing. Um, <laughs> I am not a cosmetic chemist. I'm an esthetician. So um, I've been experimenting with this in the treatment room, on the bikini lines, after waxing, during facials, just to see how a broad spectrum of people's skin reacts to it. And overall, I have not seen anything negative. So I love the serum. It has hyaluronic acid, niacinamide, some aloe, just a few things to name. Um, a little goes a long way because it's almost a cross between a serum and a lotion. So as you can see, it just rubs right on in and it feels just really good. Like you see, a little goes a long way. So, and it doesn't have a scent to it either. I wanted to make sure that these products didn't have as no sit as much as possible. I know how tough those are. They're very sensitive. They're not into, um, you know, a whole lot of things going on. But yes, now you would do a regimen like this once a week. Once a week is perfectly fine. You can even go out to doing this twice a month. You don't even got to do all these steps every week. But if you want to do something in between or to prep before your wax, um, I highly recommend one, using the bikini buff before your wax. And I also recommend using the bikini buff and the bikini serum or well, the bikini buff about three times a week to help with just maintenance and ingrown hairs. I recommend the glow serum for daily use. This can be used daily. Um, the niacinamide is going to help you get closer to brightening the bikini line a little quicker. Um, and the, um, and the, um, and it's going to help with inflammation. So like I said, those boil like ingrowns are going to do really good with this guy. This can be used daily. This three times a week. If you're using any type of scrub whatsoever, um, don't use it any more than three times a week. And also, because the girls told me on YouTube the other day, I've heard a lot of people are being having issues um, when they've over the past year or so with using PFB because I didn't realize on the directions on these bottles, it says for you to use it every day. P.S. motherfucking A. You do not use PFB Vanish every day. PFB Vanish is a three times a week max kind of situation, y'all. PFB Vanish is kind of like a chemical peel at home in a roll-on bottle. So if you use like, imagine you're using a chemical peel on your body every single day. That's way too harsh, especially for my black, my black and brown girls, because we don't tolerate AHAs um, the same way as our lighter counterparts. So with that being said, Please do not use your PFB Vanish every day. I had some girls talking about some, well, it was peeling, so I knew it was working. No, it isn't. And then they told me that on the bottle it said that, and I couldn't believe that that was a thing because, y'all, that is a disaster for leading for residual discoloration and um, chemical burning. So please, whatever you do, I'm begging, 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 begging um, for y'all not to use it every day day. And on top of that, someone else had asked me about the PFB Vanish Ultra, which is the top level one. I really wouldn't go past the PFB Vanish plus Chroma Bright. You really don't need something that strong, y'all. I promise you, you don't. If you're using it three times a week, being patient, reading your Bible, drinking your water, it's going to go away. Also go in commando as much as possible. So I hope everybody enjoyed this. That was like, honestly, really stressful. <laughs> But if you are interested, oh, hyperpigmentation, hypopigmentation, and a strip barrier waiting to happen, period. If you guys want to know how to wax your own bikini line, like let's say you got to go to the pool real fast and you're on week six and your girl's still booked up for waxing, go watch my YouTube video. I showed you how you can wax your own bikini line at home. Let's say you're about to go on vacation, you need to get a little wax in, go watch the video. I show you how to do it. It's very simple. It takes four strips. That's it. So with that being said, 
Y'all be great. Thank you so much for watching this half-ass epic fail of a video. And this is why I record and then upload. And I'll see y'all soon. Have a good one, y'all. Thank y'all so much for watching. Bother me. Let's see. I don't have any questions in the chat. How, okay, I answered all these. Thank y'all so much for watching. And please watch the video. It is very, very helpful um, when it comes to all the things I said. I'm also going to be on the computer here for the next hour answering any questions from the comments from the video. So I'll see you over there soon. Bye.